This is the fifth FRED tutorial. We'll show a graph with two lines, two formulas, and two axes. We'll follow a three-step sequence, first plotting the investment share of GDP, then the inverted yield curve, and finally we'll introduce a second axis. We begin as usual by going to Data Tools and then selecting Create Your Own Graphs. Next, we'll add the first indicator into the search box below Add Data Series. This is Gross Private Domestic Investment, or GPDI in FRED code. We'll adjust that by dividing that line by nominal GDP, or GDP in FRED code. Notice we still have to select nominal GDP. There it is. We'll then click on Create Your Own Data Transformation to view the formula box. Then we'll divide A by B and multiply by 100 to get percent. Notice the investment share of GDP is very cyclical. It falls sharply in recessions. Now we'll add the second line. We'll begin by adding the 10-year Treasury yield. Now we have to incorporate the short-term interest rate, a three-month Treasury bill rate, to generate the yield curve. Notice we're adjusting line two this time. The code for the three-month Treasury bill rate is TB3MS. In the formula box, we'll generate the inverted yield curve by subtracting A from B instead of the usual way around of A minus B. The reason is the inverted treasury yield curve is consistent cyclically with the investment share of GDP. Now we'll start the graphs in 1953 when the treasury data become available and we'll convert the frequency to quarterly to match the GDP data. The graphs look good except they really need to be on different scales. So let's change the scale on line 1 from the left scale to the right scale. Then we'll see much more clearly that these two series are consistent cyclically. There's the graph, and it's much more obvious that they both declined sharply in recessions. Let's clean this up a bit by making it larger, adjusting the background color, and make the text size bigger. That looks pretty good. We now have to convert it to a PDF. And then we can save it to our computer under the name Term Structure. Thank you for watching.